Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about a new category of person that we might should start paying attention to um, when it comes to looking at uh, future elections and how they might turn out. Over the last few cycles, we've talked a lot about the unlikely voter. Those people who aren't normally counted in polling, but who show up. They're, they're part of demographics who traditionally don't show up in large numbers, but if they show up a little bit more than normal, it's enough to sway elect, an election. The unlikely voter. It's still early, but because of a recent AP NORC poll, we might need to start looking at the, the unlikely non-voter. So, the polling, it asked people about their confidence level and whether or not they had a high degree of confidence that their vote would be correctly counted in the primary. So the numbers that would matter here would be Democrats talking about the Democratic primary and Republicans talking about the Republican primary and whether or not they believe that their vote would be correctly counted. Those would be the numbers to look at to see any potential deviation. I don't remember exactly what the... Uh, Democratic Party percentage was of those who had little or no confidence that their vote would be correctly counted, but it was single digits. I want to say eight or nine percent. The Republican Party, 32. 32 percent had little or no confidence that their vote would be correctly counted. That's big. That is a big that's a big percentage. You're talking about one out of three, and this is in the primary. These, uh, these people who hold this view, you have to go through and think about the reasons people you know don't vote. Some don't vote because they're not political. Some don't vote because they have a moral reason for abstaining. But what's the biggest reason? It won't matter, right? It won't matter. So they don't show up. If you have little to no confidence that your vote will be correctly counted... Do you think your vote would matter? Maybe it was a horrible idea for the Republican Party to feed into all of the claims about the elections. Maybe that's going to have long-lasting implications for the party, especially as more and more elections fail to go their way. Because the way the, the, the information silos exist and the way commentators cheerlead, we're going to have a red wave, we're going to have a red wave, when that's really not what was expected. They hear that over and over again, and then the results are different. It plays into the idea that their vote doesn't matter. It gives them little or no confidence that their vote will be correctly counted. It might lead them to believe that, well, it doesn't matter. It's not going to make a difference. And it puts them in that category of unlikely non-voter. Somebody who would normally show up if the Republican Party had stood up to Trump. But now... They may view it as pointless because of a bunch of baseless theories that were echoed by people they trust. Um, 
again, it's one poll and it's early on. But this is a demographic we're going to have to watch. It, it was stuff like this that led us to start looking at unlikely voters. This, <laughs> this might matter. One out of three is huge. Particularly when you think about those people who would hold that opinion, they would be from the, the faction of the Republican Party that is further right. Because those are the Republicans who carried that message forward the most. Their constituents, those people who follow them, who believe them, well, they believed them. Might have been a huge mistake. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.